In this film, I'm going to show you how to assemble your multi-draw base cabinet. This cabinet you can fit either the Uniset, the Premium or the Premium Plus draw boxes. Here's a tip for you, when you've opened your box, use the cardboard as a base to build your cabinet on. This helps protect the panels. The panel numbers referred to correspond to those in the assembly guide. So in your box, you've got your assembly guide, and then you have panel number two, which is your right-hand side panel. And you can tell right to left because there's a groove, and at the top of the groove, there are two holes. This means that this is your right-hand side panel. You then have panel number six, which is your back panel. Panel number four, which is your front rail. Panel number five, which is your back rail, and this comes with a groove in the bottom. Panel number three, which is your base. And the last panel in the box is your left hand end panel. And again, you've got the groove with the two holes at the top. All that's left is the box at the bottom which contains your fittings and your legs and leg bosses. This is the assembly guide for the multi-draw base cabinet. It is important that you read the information carefully before you start. This is the hardware, the legs, the minimum tools required and the panels. Having sorted all my components out, I have 10 cams, 10 quick lock dowels, 8 wooden dowels, 20 15mm screws, 4 L brackets, 2 times 30mm screws used for joining the cabinets together. Also included in the cardboard box are your 4 legs, your 4 leg bosses and your 2 plinth clips. For safekeeping so you don't lose any of the components, put them in the box. So before you start, you lay your panels out groove to groove this gives you your left and right hand panel and as I said, follow the line up and providing the two holes are in the top, that is left and right. So the holes are at the top here, this indicates that this is my right hand panel. Depending on which set of drawers you're going to be fitting, you can also set your Uniset drawer sets. I'm going to be fitting Premium Plus overlay drawer boxes into this cabinet. Your drawer runners have got an R for right and an L for left on them. So the right hand ones go on this cabinet side. Depending on the drawer type you've purchased, either three drawers, two drawers or hidden drawers, you then pick the runner positions as required. When I fit my premium plus drawers, I will be using this assembly guide for the top drawer and this assembly guide for the bottom two drawers. It is easier to fit the runners while the cabinet is still unbuilt. You can build the cabinet up and then fit the runners later, but this is the easiest way of doing it. So, identifying which holes I'm going to be using on my plate. So, following the assembly guide for the top drawer, I'm going to be using the top set of holes at the back for the top drawer. So, I'm now going to position my runners. I'll be using the top set of holes in my runner plate, but the bottom set of holes on the cabinet. And for the middle drawer, I'll be using the bottom set of holes on my runner plate and the holes in the centre of the cabinet here. And again, for the bottom set, I'll be using the top set of holes in the runner plate and the holes that are at the bottom. So taking the Euro screws, I'm now going to fix my runners into position on my right hand panel. When fitting the middle runner, you may find you have to extend the runner out so that you can get the screws into position. And the bottom one and the top one you can get at easily. Following the assembly guide, I'm now going to fit my cams and metal dowels. I'm now going to insert my cam, making sure that the arrow is pointing towards the hole on the edge of my panel. So place it in like like so, and taking my quick lock dowel, pushing it into the hole, 
making sure it is fully inserted. Now insert your wooden dowels. If you find it difficult to push the wooden dowel in, just take a hammer and gently tap. I'm going to repeat for the rest of the panels. And now I'm going to assemble the cabinet Ensuring that the cam is towards the front of the unit, the quick lock dowel works when the cam is turned between 12 and 2, 2 being the maximum. You will see that the metal plastic sleeve expands. This gives you a tight fit in the hole of your end panel. Repeat this for the rest of the panels, then you're ready to actually start assembling the cabinet. When you fit your back rail, make sure that the cams are behind into the service space and fit the base panel, making sure that it is groove to groove. And sliding your back panel into the groove. Carefully take your remaining side panel, and I say carefully because these could slide forward. Tightening the cams up, taking your cabinet, carefully place it on the floor so you can put the feet in. Once you've done that, stand it up and fix it to the wall. I'm going to show you how to assemble your Premium Plus draw boxes. Your draw system comes in two boxes. The top drawer, when you open it up, you will find fittings, a left and a right hand runner. And the beauty of these drawers, the drawers are already pre-assembled for you. And there is a fitting guide here. It is important that you read the assembly guide carefully before you start to assemble your drawers. You have hardware, hardware for framed only, minimum tools required, and the actual draw box itself. In your hardware pack, you'll have two draw front clips, four normal screws which have a point, eight Euro screws which are pointless, and two cover plates, or sometimes called locking plates. You have the fittings, transversal rails, your dividers, more parts of the dividers, your drawer extenders, the runners, and the assembly guide. This one covers the 500 and 800 pan drawers, non-framed and framed. There is important information that you must read before you start to assemble your cabinet. This one covers the hardware, the hardware only for framed, minimum tools required, and the draw box itself. In this hardware pack you have the draw front clips, normal screws with a point, Euro screws which are pointless, and the four locking or cover plates. Fitting my draw front clips to my drawers, I'm now going to fit my drawers themselves onto the draw fronts. And to do that I need to remove this part, which is a draw front plate, part number 10 on the assembly guide. And placing it here over the holes, there's one in the end of each extender. Okay, and the last one here, four. And fix them down with the screws provided. So I have now fixed part BP, which is the draw front securing plate, into position. And I'm going to take my drawer itself drop it down onto the draw front clips. 
I'm now going to fit my cover plate, or sometimes referred to as locking plate, into position here. That stops the drawer front falling off. So turning it onto its base, moving the drawers out of the way, taking the drawer extenders and you have a right and a left drawer extender. You can tell the difference by when you hold it like this, the groove here matches this for the left hand side and the groove here matches this for the right hand side. So at the same time as you slide it down over the front plate, you're also pushing it in the back here. And as you can see, there's a little lug here. And that lug goes in this slot. One, two, three. And that's it locked into position. Repeat for the left hand side. Now at this stage, it's easier to fit all the internal pieces while it's still out of the cabinet. Now taking two of the central dividers, these are BL, you get them ready to put into your drawer, so you put them in like that. And before I actually fit them into position, I'm going to take my transversal tube, clip it in here, and this is on a spring. So into the slot in the drawer extender, like that, and then taking the first, slide it down into its slots in the back, like that, and then clip, push down, and clip, and take your adjustable dividers, and what you do is you put them on the top like this, and then clip them on the bottom. When I say it's adjustable, you can actually slide this up and down as required. So one there, and you can put them in any combination you like. So what you have is a stainless steel panel, and there's also stainless steel here. So you pull this one off. Okay, so now let's put that into position. So lifting the drawer up, I place it onto my runners that I have pre-extended, place it on and push it back. And if it doesn't click, just reach in and push the runner using your fingers. One, two. And I'm now gonna repeat for my middle drawer. As with all the Premium Plus drawer boxes, make sure that the soft close is pointing towards the back of the drawer before you insert the drawer for the first time. If it's like that, just pull it over like that. Now it's ready to insert into the uh, cabinet. I'm now inserting my middle drawer. Push it back, and if it doesn't click, just pull it slightly forwards, reach in, and push it with your fingers, like so. The other alternative is to remove the drawer front and push it in, but this is the easiest way. There we are. Oh, look at that, lovely. Just for reference, if you notice, the top drawer has deeper drawer sides than both pan drawers. This is correct. Okay, so I'm now gonna drop my drawer onto its runners, push it back until it clicks, Pull it forward, make sure it soft closes. Okay, lovely. And now I'm gonna put my drawer front on. This is wrong because the drawer itself is now exposed at the back and the drawer front is higher than the cabinet. So turn it round, push it in, clip and clip. Put the cover plates or locking plates on. Okay, so I have to do a little bit of adjustment on this drawer. And actually the only one I need to adjust is this one here, which needs to go up. On this drawer system, you have two adjusters. This one here gives you up and down adjustment. And this one here, which is only in the right hand side, gives you left and right adjustment. So I need to move my drawer front up very slightly. So I undo that move it up, tighten it back up, 
Test the draw. Yep, absolutely fine. And the last thing to do, once you're happy, is remove the cover. I've removed the plastic covering film. Fitting the cover plate is the last thing, like that. Shut the drawer. Yeah, lovely still. Open the drawer and fitting the cover plates means that the front won't come off. If you need to remove the drawer for any reason, so putting my hands flat on the underside of the drawer, bring your hands forward until your little fingers touch the drawer front and then your middle finger is exactly the right spot to find the release mechanism. Now on both sides, push it up and hold it up and then bring the drawer forward and it removes the drawer like that.